much Fab. It's going to be part 40 on the mongrel build. First thing I've got to say is massive thanks to everyone that's chipped in to feed the mongrel. Um, yeah, blown away by how many people have actually donated. This is everyone that's chipped in over 50, the 50 plus crew. And uh, these are all the names that are going to go on the car. When it's done, I think probably going to have to go on the roof because there's going to be quite a lot of names on there. That's still running. Link in the description if you want to check out, if you want to get your name on the car. And yeah, what do you think of my board? Got some more room for some other stuff here. See what we can squeeze in. But yeah, that's going to make a massive difference to how quickly the car gets finished. You know, and how good the end results are actually going to be. It's going to be the difference of, you know, budget parts and being able to put good parts on it. And yeah, can't say thanks enough for that. It's uh, blown my mind. Proper cold in here today. Snow outside. My snot's turned into icicles. But we're still going to um, get a few little jobs done while I can bear it. I'd be dying without this thing right now. And we're pretty much on empty. All right, so all, I'm, all I want to achieve today is to make a little lip to come down on the inside of this, just to finish this edge off and um, cut this off a bit straighter. And it's just going to support that corner a little bit better and just so that there's not a sharp edge in there. All the boot floor is now complete. Guess what it is? Brown flakes. So, what I'm going to do is just cut that out 1.5 mil and then just really carefully weld all down the edge of here. Um, trying to keep this cool and hopefully not warping it. That's the goal. Stop hogging all the heat. I just cocked this up a bit. I meant to um, bring that bit down to the edge of here. So I'll have to add another little bit in there. What a hard. Try and remember that for the other side.
Looks like it grew there. That's added loads of strength to that. It doesn't need any supports or anything. It's not gonna go anywhere. Super strong. Kept the shape in there. Yeah, job done. Let's move on, move on to the A pillar. All right, so gotta fix this little bit here now. So I'm just gonna cut this corner off so it follows this new piece I've put in, down. Cut it off flat and then just fold a little piece in there and uh, get rid of some of this because it's thin. Right, done. Another little corner repaired. Uh, it's not, I haven't done it in the way it was um, originally done. I've just done it in the easiest way I could kind of do it with it still working. But yeah, it's in there, solid. All right, that's gonna be it for this one. I've run out of diesel for the heater and it's freezing. So uh, I will do the other side off camera, get that out of the way. And then uh, next bit I need to tackle is gonna be that boot um, sort of seal area at the back. But yeah, that's for another day. So thanks again to everyone who's chipped in to feed the mongrel. I'm already in the process of ordering all the panels for it. As soon as I've worked out a seat that'll actually fit in there, I'll be ordering up some seats. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this one. Just watch them. See you on the next one.